embalming is when you preserve a body so that it doesn't deteriorate when you're working on it. And most embalming systems in the world use formalin or something similar to formalin, which makes the bodies very stiff. Um, so they're very difficult to move. Teal is what we call a soft fix embalming method. So it's one of the methods that allows the body to remain very flexible. So when you're actually using these bodies, um, you're able to move them much more effectively. And that's one of the major advantages. You're also able to see the colours much better, so the actual colours are retained. Again, formalin tends to make everything a sort of pinky grey colour, so it's much more um, effective to be able to recognise the structures, for example, using this method. The cadavers are fully flexible, which means that joints can be manipulated in a way that reflects real human movement. Joints can be flexed, extended or rotated. The textures and colours of internal structures are maintained. Also, structures like tendons can be moved to show their function. For example, tendons in the hand can be used to move fingers. The TL is the best learning resource because it's very lifelike, it's flexible, you can like move the cadaver around and see how it actually works when the person was actually alive. It's just a normal living body, but it's not. So it's definitely like better learning resource for any students who's like looking forward to going into like anatomy or medical field. They are called the silent teachers for a reason, which is that they teach us something that's very difficult to put into words, I think, unless you've done it and you've spent your Tuesday morning doing that. So I think that when I graduate from Dundee, I'm going to have knowledge that really very few other graduates have because I've actually had this opportunity um, for to dissect a human body. I guess you see it more like a living textbook. You don't see it as a person. Yes, you do, you do suddenly sometimes realise, oh, this is someone's um, relative that I'm working on. So you do get a bit overwhelmed by that, but then you also think, you know, they're here for you to learn. So I guess that's, that's the thing that helps you to keep you grounded in your learning, I would say. Learning from a Theo cadaver because you know at the end of your learning is a real person and this is what our professionalism deals with. Keeping that in mind, I think it helps you develop your skills towards treating patients. Um, thinking, you know, this is not just another problem I see, someone is attached to the problem and it makes you more personable. But then it is also very hands-on where you need um, delicate movement in trying to um, differentiate between the different layers of skin or different um, layers of muscles. So it helps you to train your dexterity, I would say. Uh, the skin is very soft, so we get a feel of like we are doing a life surgery. We can get the feel of soft tissues and every structure, and we can see the structures, so it is helpful for that means in developing surgical skills, it is helpful. So the fact that you can do all these exciting things and we can simulate different areas of the body that look very, very realistic allows us to be able to test things and do things that you just cannot do with anyone else. So for the summary of Teal, it's the flexibility, the ability to be able to do so many different things with what in essence is, is your one body is fantastic. They gave their body for a good cause. Like that's what I want to do. At the end of my life, I do want to give my body away because it's a really good resource for everyone who's wanting to do this. I mean, we have to be respectful because they gave their life away for this, for a better future for everyone.